Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. On November 2nd, ON1 2024 was released. While ON1 has always made it to my list of top RAW editors, deservedly so because of its extensive feature set and great price, its laggy performance and confusing interface have always prevented it from being placed higher. So in 2024, has ON1 Photo RAW corrected its flaws enough to make it worthy of an upgrade? That's what we're going to find out in today's video as I count down the top 5 features and improvements of ON1 Photo RAW 2024. At the end of the video, I'll tell you whether it is indeed worth the upgrade. So let's get right into it. At number 5 is the simpler user interface. In 2024, on one took drastic action to simplify its interface. All I can exclaim is, it's about time. As for so many years, on one's interface was considered one of the most complicated and confusing among its peers. Some examples of simplifications include reducing the number of toolbars. In on one 2023, there were two toolbars one on the left and one on the right. In ON1 2024, this number has been reduced to just one. A nice improvement for simpler navigation. Another simplification is removing duplicate masking tools. In ON1 2023, if you needed to paint a mask, you confusingly had two options, one called mask and the other called local. It was always unclear what the difference of one was from the other. Thankfully, in ON1 2024, there is now only one masking tool. No more unnecessary confusion which option to click. Another simplification has to do with buttons. In 2023, many of the button types were text-based, unnecessarily cluttering up the screen. In 2024, many of these text buttons have been converted into icon-based buttons, which saves a lot of space. ON1 has also simplified by reducing the number of choices. Whereas in 2023, all options were presented to the user, in 2024, lesser used options are now hidden under a submenu. Again, great for reducing clutter and simplifying navigation. At number four is better search. If you've ever used ON1 2023 search before, you would know that while ON1 search was very capable and feature filled, it was marred by poor design, wherein, as you can see here, a large dialog would be placed in the middle of the screen, blocking part of the results from view. Needless to say, this was very intrusive and annoying. Thankfully, ON1 2024 has addressed this issue. As you can see here, the size of the search widget has been drastically reduced to just a strip, while its location has been moved to the top, similar to how Lightroom does it. No more blocking of search results, a huge improvement. At number three is faster performance. On one always has had the drawback of having sluggish performance when navigating, browsing, and rendering photos. Well, I'm happy to report that this problem has been greatly rectified. You can see here that in Photo Raw 2023, there was a significant delay before thumbnails can be rendered fully. In Photo Raw 2024, thumbnails now appear much more instantaneously, similar to better file browsers like DxO Photo Lab. Another improvement is the rendering of raw files. As you can see here in Photo Raw 2023, when I click edit from the browse mode, there is a noticeable and annoying delay before the raw file is completely rendered. In 2024, this same type of navigation is markedly snappier, a real improvement in the user experience. At number two is improved highlight recovery. One important drawback of ON1 2023 and previous versions 
was the subpar highlight recovery performance. To understand this improvement, let's reduce the highlights in this overly bright sky. As you can see, the result is not great. The sky looks unnatural and overprocessed, filled with halos and weird details. To me, this type of result is unusable, and as a workaround, I would actually use the exposure slider instead of the highlight slider to give a more adequate adjustment. Not a great workflow at all. Well, I'm happy to report that in ON1 2024, this issue has been fixed. As you can see, the highlight recovery now looks more pleasing and natural, bringing ON1 more in line with its top competitors. And that brings us to the number one new feature, Brilliance AI. Brilliance AI is a unique and newly introduced feature of ON1 2024, which allows you to edit images automatically. It's almost like having an assistant do the editing for you. To use it, simply enable the Brilliance AI option. It's that simple. As you can see here, the result looks very good, all with just one click. But that's not all. While Brilliance AI works great for global adjustments, it is not limited to just that. It works just as effectively in local adjustments, and it does this by recognizing objects in your photo. It has the ability to automatically mask the sky, person, water, or foliage without needing to click a button. I'll have more to say about Brilliance AI in a future video, but suffice to say, this feature is very good and quite polished out of the box. I suspect a lot of editing will primarily start with Brilliance AI first, moving to the other manual tools only when Brilliance AI fails, which is not as common as you would think. So I believe Brilliance AI is a winner for ON1 and kudos to the ON1 team for this achievement. So there you have it, the top new features of ON1 PhotoRaw 2024. Is it worth an upgrade? While there are still some shortcomings in ON1's tools, particularly in manual local masking, and the interface can still be further simplified. I think all in all, this is the biggest improvement to ON1 since I've used it three years ago, and they've even have maintained their excellent price. So ON1 2024 has more value than ever. I highly recommend this upgrade. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know of what you think of ON1 PhotoRAW 2024. Are you upgrading? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.